Hi guys, and welcome to Co Fabrics Tutorials. Today we are going to make that trending bow that you've always wanted to make using scrap fabric that you already have at home. So grab your fabric. We're going to measure out a 8 by 20 but if you want a thick bow like mine is, I'd recommend actually doing an 8 by 24 inch uh, measurement instead of 20 like I'm showing here. Go ahead and cut that out. And then we're going to measure a 2 by 4 inch and cut that out. Next, we're going to fold both of these pieces over and iron them down. And then we're going to mark out our seam allowance, which I'm using three eighths of an inch here. So just under half an inch. Uh, you could also do about a centimeter um, if you are in the metric system. So after we uh, marked our top seam allowance, we were actually going to draw down to the corner of our fold. And you want to give yourself a little bit of clearance. So uh, just like tuck in about uh, two eighths to three eighths away from the edge and just draw a, a line uh, just a couple inches in. That's a diagonal. And you just want a straight diagonal line here because that's going to make the bow look really pretty when it's folded. I want to leave about an inch and a half to a two inch hole in this so that the uh, so that I can flip this inside out when I'm done. And then we're gonna grab our thread and our needle. And you can obviously machine sew this, but I am hand sewing it because um, this is a very easy uh, intro or beginner project. So we are just gonna back stitch around on those seams, making sure once we run out of thread that we go ahead and tie a couple knots. And then we wanna leave about an inch and a half to a two inch opening on this, on this uh, ribbon. After that, we're going to trim our seam allowances down just a little bit, uh, clipping the corners so that they are nice and small. And then we are going to trim that allowance all the way around so that it's short. Then we can flip her inside out. You can take a little uh, kind of dull pencil or bamboo stick or nail file and just kind of poke out those corners and just gonna run it along the seam edges to help them lay flat. And then just go ahead and give it a little press. Then we're gonna whip stitch the hole closed so that it doesn't open. And technically you can stitch, uh, skip this step, but I like to make sure that that's all nice and closed up. Then what we can do is we're going to kind of evenly fold our bow over, making sure that uh, that triangle edge is facing the correct way first. And then we're gonna fold her over and make our little bow. 
And what I found to be the easiest is, um, and sometimes it takes a couple tries, but I like to just baste my bow stitches in place and then kind of pull along the thread and like tighten it up so that I can kind of test and see how it's going to look and fiddle with it. Once I'm happy with the way it looks, I'm going to wrap the thread around in a couple times and just stitch the thread in place so it doesn't move. After that, we're going to grab our band and go ahead and sew that band up. Uh, just sew along the edges, flip it inside out, and press it. Now we're going to take our bow and our band and we're going to wrap the band around the bow. It's okay if one edge of the band is unfinished. It's going to be tucked in so it's fine. And then we're just going to whip stitch that band in place and add a little clip and our bow is done. And as always, thank you for watching Co-Fabrics Tutorials. We hope to see you next time.